All right, here comes the moment of truth. I brought my uh, brought my laptop just in case we got a review footage. <gasps> boom! 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 Oh, I see you. You thought you can get away from me, huh? No way, Jose. We got one, and that is actually not even. That's not a coon. That is a. Let's make sure there's nothing else out here. That is a freaking possum. Now what do I do with you? We call animal control? I think we do. Well, we got him. We got us one. You wanted to come into the backyard and try to steal my little buddy Gary, didn't you? Oh, I got you. First time trapping. Success. Now it's call animal control because I don't think using a 45 on him is, is worth it. But man, did you enjoy You enjoyed that tuna, didn't you? You enjoyed it. I could see you staring at me. Look at him. Look at those claws. So I know this thing's still alive for sure. His eyes are moving around. Uh, there's actually a subscriber that told me on Facebook to move them inside the garage Because apparently the Sun will kill these things after a while. I guess you can get a ticket for killing stuff like this I don't really know. Let's go check this other one, but Nope Nothing's touched. You know what? I'm gonna turn these trail cams off. We'll review that footage here when we get back to the house Got him. Got us a possum trying to come out here and eat Gary ah. Just so everybody is aware this thing is alive for sure. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, you want to try to bite me? Look at that thing. Look at that. Oh, you want to bite me, huh? Yeah, I got you. Don't worry. Don't try to eat my bass. I'm going to catch your ass. Well, I have a subscriber that is coming out. He's actually an animal control guy here in Texas. He told me he wants me to throw water on it to cool it down and move it to shade. It's pretty shady out right now but I'll throw water on it. This thing smells really bad. He's coming and he's gonna bring some more food for us to try and, and catch the actual, like the possum, not, not the possum, but I didn't even know there was possums back here. This is the first time I've seen one. Um, I can't wait to watch the footage when we get back and see if it was actually like, if we have more things like those, uh, the raccoons actually showing up. But those are the things I was actually trying to catch. Um, but l let me grab some, some stuff to splash on him. Now if I was a gamble man, this probably won't make him too happy, but oh yeah, he already knows, look at him. But I guess it feels better than laying in the Texas sun. At least it's not that hot today. It's only like 93. Oh, you mean sucker. Look at him. Yeah, that felt good though. I know it felt good. This is an animal abuse, just so everybody knows. This is me actually trying to cool him off. I guess possums could do just as much damage. That thing has some giant talons, like, like a pterodactyl. He's like a pterodactyl. We're about to turn this into its own series. This is about to be to catch Gary's Predators. That's what this series is going to be called. We're going to catch the predators of Gary. Anything else to come back there and try to get that bass? They're not going to be able to get that bass. All right, let's put some more water on him. Nice cold water. This is coming from an animal control guy that works for the city. Just so everybody knows, I feel like I got to reiterate this. This is not me. Just like you know, let's let's throw some water on this animal while I got it trapped. No, we're doing this animal a favor. I have no clue if he's going to go release it or. Dude, whatever he does with it after this is not my problem, but I'm gonna keep it alive. Oh, you are so mad. Why are you so mean, dude? You shouldn't have been trying to come after the fish. All right, he smells so bad. He smells like a feral hog. I'm gonna hit him with one more time. I'm gonna hit him with one more time. I and mean, then we might go review some of the footage. I'm like pumped. I'm excited. My first time setting up a trap, we got something. Okay, here we go. He's still chilling out there. Here's some of the footage though. Look what we got. We got him. He's still there. This was before I put the cages out. This was the one. This was the night before I put them out. Let's see if there's anything that's actually... I wonder if I caught that, that possum on tape. We've done some relocating. because He was too small. I don't even know if this cam caught it because I went back and looked at the footage and that cam was tilted a little bit so that the screen was like this. So it was like cutting off half of that. So I relocated. We got this right here on a chair facing that away i've got this one over here the one that i keep struggling to record i don't know what's going on but i got this one facing this way so we kind of got a little triangle effect going on you know what i mean like we're pulling some security and then we got one over here i would call this kind of the point of the triangle one there one there and one here so we got a little trifecta because that big one keeps coming on the footage that you guys will see here in a second it was from this angle from this tree huge raccoon right here right here and then it walked over and they keep going to this corner for some reason that corner right there so just thought we'd move around the move them around to give them a little bit different view i'm hoping that we can really catch this sucker i'm gonna throw some uh ugh, ugh, i'm gonna throw some more water on him 
just because I'm a gentleman and a scholar, I decided to give him some of Gary's shades. We know that he'll be okay while we're sitting here. That, I mean, that, that thing, that possum, smells so... It either could be him or that tilapia underneath him. I don't really know. Hopefully he didn't poop all over the ground, which... The animal control guy is two minutes away. I have still no idea. You guys are going to find out what we're going to do with these things because he lives somewhat close to here, so he's going to... If I catch anything, he's just going to be the guy to come pick him up. Since Sarah does want me to give him the old nine mil treatment. Guys, this is Troy. He's gonna be the, I guess this is what he actually, this is what you do for a living? Yes. So this is actually literally what he does for a living. Oh, you just go from one cage to the other. Yeah. Okay, I guess, I guess we'll just let you handle it since you do this a lot. All right. That is a, That's it. That is it. That was He's done. It. <laughs> He's still alive. Now, what do you do with him, honestly? You just take him down and release him somewhere. Oh, that's it? Yeah, in a wildlife area. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess the 9mm treatment wasn't needed. I was, <laughs> that's what I was, I was actually thinking we were going to do. So now, what's the plan with these things? This, this is what we're actually going to use to catch coons, actual coons. Yeah, just the can cat food and uh, raspberry zingers. They like the fruitiness. All right. So for everybody that didn't want me to kill the animal or just catch it and release it, I guess it's being released. Like I said, he works for the city, just happens to be a subscriber, which is kind of really lucky. I mentioned something on Facebook and he's like, you got to keep something, uh, what do he say, something about rabies control. You can't like move him from city to city or county to county or something. But he got his number and now we're going to be picking up these suckers. And he said that these, these things will, in fact, for sure, come in and try to eat your fish. <sighs> okay, we're gonna set up some more bait. It's really warm in Texas. All the claw marks. Oh my god. We're the climbing the fence going up and over right there. Oh, okay. Dude, I'm so glad. So should we put the trap over here then? Yeah, I'll probably do one right over here so they just hop right over. Okay, so we should. In the bushes. Just right so up should I move that trap that's way over there to here? Yeah, I would do it. Unless there's, you know, on that side also. <laughs> I like this. This is You're making my life easy, man. We can catch, maybe we can catch them in one and think they'll come back tonight. Do they come back to the same spot oh, every day? Every night. Every night. Every night. So every night they're coming in here. A trap and send it to you. Thank you so much. <laughs> See you later, man. All right, man. Well, he is a very nice gentleman. He told me that possums actually are more, he said that they will actually go after a fish faster than a raccoon will. He said that the, he's had chickens and possums will kill, um, chickens faster than they will kill and then raccoons will. So we actually, found where they're coming over like you guys saw earlier coming up over this fence right here they're not coming over the back fence but they're coming over this fence i mean you can see the I'll, I'll zoom in the claw marks all along the fence all this throughout here so they're coming up over here so he told me we stuck the cage there it still has tuna and some fish in it and stuff like that so i put up i put this up right there so now we're gonna have perfect view perfect view there's no way we can miss that. It's almost eye level. And then we got this one set up over here. He, we moved this one as well because I'm going to come by every morning for the next couple days to make sure that the coons are in here because i got to be able to call the city before 8. And I don't want to get hit with a fine. And if I call them, I'm not liable kind of deal. We got that put up on this. We just put a fresh thing of cat food inside there. I mean, it's under the shade right now, so it'll be under the shade till around this time tomorrow. So they'll be good. we got to keep them shade so they don't get overheated and they don't die so I don't get hit with a giant fine. There you go. That's the layout of the land for back here. <sighs> this is Catching Gary's Predator. Let's go ahead. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'm sure the lighting is just a tad bit yellow here in the ill kitchen. But we're going to... Actually, this isn't the kitchen, it's the dining room. But let's go ahead and review the footage. You guys want to see some of what I have. Some of the angles were pretty bad, but you guys saw here a little bit ago that I actually did go through and start changing the angles a little bit. This video is a little bit different than one of my normal videos, but I feel like this is freaking awesome and it needs to be shared with you guys. Since you guys are pretty much a part of this entire family, entire of this trip of YouTube, you guys know the deal. I say it all the time. Here we go. We got some possum footage. That's what it is because that's what we caught. So the only actual footage I have is of this raccoon who is just doing raccoon things, this giant raccoon, which hopefully we'll go back and see that's caught. And then we have this one. If you guys can tell, the camera's like crooked and it's me walking around with a camera like a, like an idiot, but that's, the camera's too crooked and it's facing 
this way. I don't know if I like what. But as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, right there, there's the possum in the cage. I completely must have missed something because the, the image before this is. So it doesn't look so good in our time. Oh, wow. It's when I uh, went through. Wow, that's 100% my fault. Okay. So when I went through last night and I turned it on and off, I had shifted the camera like this just a little bit and it was almost panning or pan to the sky. But it's no big deal. You guys want to see something that's actually beneficial? How about the release footage? Let's watch that together here. Play. All right, here is the release of the possum. Well, it's not really... Yeah. Go, possum. And off he goes. Alright. But if you guys enjoyed this video, click on that one right there. If you guys have already seen that one, then click on that one. If you already seen all that, then click on this down there. Subscribe. You need to. It's very good for your health. Other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow. I love every single one of you guys. And I'm about to disappear off the screen right about. Oh.